We saw some of these kids at the auto show today. This year, when you walk through the auto show, there is a very special exhibit that might catch your eye. It's showcasing the dreams of homeless children depicted through their own beautiful photographs. It's to bring awareness to their plight in a very special Pictures of Hope exhibit right at Cobo Hall. My hopes and dreams are to go to college and get an education. Imagine dreaming of living in a home like this one. Get a house and live great. Beautiful, historic, and right across the street from the Cots Homeless Shelter in Detroit is a daily dream for 13-year-old Mahogany, who lives at Cots with her mom and siblings. She snapped a picture of that very home in December as part of world-famous photographer Linda Solomon's Pictures of Hope program. Linda teaches kids here at Cots and around the country how to write a list of their hopes and dreams and then capture them in amazing photographs with cameras donated by Walgreens. Each child is teamed with a mentor invited to participate, from journalists to CEOs, police officers, a noted psychologist, even a Michigan congresswoman. Mahogany's caption under her picture reads, my hope is to have a house and live great. It means happiness with my mom and my siblings and like we don't have to go through a lot of stuff no more because we have a house. Pretty heavy stuff for a child and for her mom. It gives the kids a lot of self-esteem. Um, it gives them a lot of positivity and know that they can do something awesome as having their artwork in the Cobo Hall. All of the pictures from the children at Cots are on display here at the North American International Auto Show thanks to the Detroit Auto Dealers Association. This is the best way to bring pictures of hope to children who need hope the most. I mean, these children deserve hope. The pictures are powerful, from wanting no child to go hungry to dreams of being a police officer, but most depict images of helping their moms and their families. They could write down anything on these lists, but their dreams are for everyone else. There's even a dream from this young man, 21-year-old Lujette Patton, who used to call the cot shelter his home. When it comes to struggles, I know that it's walls that I can be able to just try to get over them instead of just letting them ruin me. Lujette's picture is about a better tomorrow by way of the classroom. The caption is simple, my dream is to go to school. I have a lot of dreams about education, about bettering my education. Uh, I've been having a dream about going to school, which would be a college, um, since I was a little boy. And for Linda, it's about bringing awareness to a problem and making dreams come true. Take a look at these powerful photographs and, and know that these children deserve to know their dreams matter. And they do matter for sure. And guys, I got to tell you, the story doesn't end there. We met up with Lujette Patton, who you just saw in our story. Uh, he's been in and out of homelessness really his whole life. His one true dream, you heard him say, is to get a good education. Take a look at this surprise at our Channel 7 Family Day. Lujette, it is my privilege to give you, on behalf of the Detroit Auto Dealers and the City of Hope, this scholarship for a full ride to Blackburn College. And I know the future is bright. Here's an amazing chapter and many, many years of great things to come. Congratulations. Congratulations. You know, that's wow. our Vice President and General Manager, Mike yes. Murray, giving him that full scholarship, tuition and room and board. Oh. He's a Hope Scholar through Pictures of Hope. Pretty amazing. He's wanted to go to college his whole life. It's incredible to be able to do that for oh, yeah. a man who deserves it. Yep, 21. Just and we'll continue 21. to follow his story, too. Wow. Beautiful story. Thanks, Carolyn.